All right, Amanda Shell again, back for part two of our author's question video. Why do you dogs always gotta be in my videos? Get out of here. Sorry. All right, part one was really windy. I'm so sorry for that. I have since moved away from my back porch. The dogs came, sorry again. All right, we have three more questions left and they were kind of lengthy, so I wanted to save it. Get out of here, do it safe. Alright, we're ready to start. I'm really sorry. Okay. Question seven was, what are you currently working on? And I actually have a few ideas rolling around in my head. Um, I would like to get some more kids books going on, and it's really important to me that one be about a deer. So I actually have it written, and most of the illustrations attached to it, it's pretty much ready to publish. My husband was the photographer for a lot of my illustrations in the book, so that'll be fun. And it'll be in dedication to my dad. It's a surprise. Don't tell him. <laughs> um, I also have a few books that'll kind of go together. I don't know how many I'm going to make, but it's going to be like parenting in haiku or a conversation in haiku, and I'll have I'll publish that like with somebody, obviously. I don't know. I like haiku. It's simple. It's fun, but it can give a person a lot to think about. All right. Question eight. How do you get inspired to write? And honestly, that one's kind of hard for me. It just has to hit me, just like photography or anything else. If I'm not feeling it, I'm just gonna really suck at it. I'm not gonna do a great job. I'm worried because I'm not really feeling this video, so if I don't do a great job, please don't thumbs down me. That sucks, guys. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> last question. Where did you get the idea for your most recent book? Alrighty, this is a really wordy one. So, my most recent book is titled More Than My Shadows, and it is a collection of poetry, first from the perspective of the victim of suicide, and then from the perspective of the loved ones left behind from the victim. So, there's a lot going on in there. I myself used to be suicidal when I was younger, and I wrote like really dark poetry, which is actually where this came from, I just kind of refurbished it. <laughs> I guess you could say. Um, my best friend killed herself, and we had both cleaned up our act after being kind of shit kids in high school. And I thought we were both doing really good, and it was just kind of out of the blue that she just was gone. So this one's been pretty special to me. And I've, I've been really upset about it because the paperback cover came out blurry for whatever reason, and I haven't been able to fix it. And the very first shipment of books, like I think two or three sold that have typos in them. And I'm like, oh, that was awful. But yeah, a lot of ups and downs with this book. I hope it works out and I hope it helps somebody. It has an anti-suicide message. Hopefully people read. <laughs> um, yeah. Just kind of hoping it gets people to understand the victims a little more and also like rethink leaving their family in that state. And I think that pretty much covers my answer to my most recent book. Alright, keep an eye out for my next book. It will be called Jill's Bad Hair Day and it's about that deer that I promised you. <laughs> And if you have any questions for me that Goodreads has not asked, you can go ahead and comment them in the video, and I will do my best to answer them. Uh, I think that about covers it. Like and subscribe, and as always, have a great day, guys.